Should I keep going? <laughs> probably wondering why I have saved up all these boxes. I am not just a box hoarder. However, when you take a workshop with me, you create lots of paintings. And last year we had a little bit of a problem with how do you take home all these wet paintings. So I've been collecting box tops and different types of things for you guys. So when you leave at the end of the workshop, you have some things that you can safely carry your paintings home in. Another good thing is just like a shipping box. It's a great way to carry um, a, a wet painting. But I also have more professional things from Raymar where um, I carry all my canvases that are wet when I do my plein air paintings. This one is up to size um, 9 by 12. This is where I keep all my canvases, my boards, and I can just stick them in here. If you're traveling by plane, this is a great way to take your wet paintings home. And it comes in many different sizes, so you can go to raymar.com, check out these. I also have... Um, this, which is, um, I think it's from Plain Air Gorilla, I think it's the name. This is just a little fancier one, but I just keep my canvases in here so you can store your wet paintings when you go home and you don't have to worry about them getting uh, ruined or smeared. is um, another company, it's by panelpack.com. And these are great too, you just take your panels or your canvases, it takes either one, and you just put them face to face to each other, put a rubber band around it, and then you can bring your wet paintings home. So hopefully between what I bring for you guys and the three different options I showed you, you can get your paintings home safely this year. And don't forget to bring some wax paper, because that's important for protecting your wet paintings too. I'll see you guys in June up in Door County.